Grana Weeponibong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related and today on my channel I'm coming back at you with some stuff and things I found from the four corners of the tinterweb i do this every single tuesday and saturday on this channel so if you like the sound of that why not think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe because it really does help me out and now the news don't touch that dial Kicking off today then with Fun B Studios and they have been making Megatron's Command Chair. This looks like a really cool piece obviously from the Beast Wars line but yeah what a beautiful piece 3D printed obviously as it always is from Fun B Studios but really really cool looking and it'll fit your leader class Megatron. What more could you want from a Megatron chair? absolutely awesome lovely 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 heading over stateside now and we're being told that tfcon los angeles will happen the march the 11th and 13th 2022 obviously nothing happening this year unfortunately in person due to a few issues still in and around but really looking forward to a time when we can all get back together and enjoy transformers in person in the safe environment chogo king chogo king Chogo King, I'm probably butchering that, shared some artwork of the upcoming Oculomax Lady Eris. Uh, hopefully this is going to be actually on the uh, product uh, packaging because it looks really, really nice, really detailed. Can't wait for this figure. Fingers crossed this is still coming on the 28th. Fingers crossed. It's so close. Please, no more delays. Uh, head staying with Oculomax, actually, and their take on Star Convoy apparently has some knee issues. So they shared uh, a couple of fixes that we can have with this. Uh, maybe this is something that they're going to look to fix in the factory for like a second run as well. But it looks like there's a problem with the springs holding the knee joints in place. I think we're going to get a couple of extra pieces, or you can order a couple of extra pieces to kind of hold the knee in place and make sure that it fits correctly i've not seen too many people talking about the issues with this so this took me by a bit of a surprise but hey at least they're coming forward and showing a couple of fixes on how we can fix this so we can see if we put everything together that the knee joint then holds well and he's such a big boy i'm super looking forward to this i think this has been delayed in the uk though because i ordered this a long time ago it was due out in february and i still don't have mine maybe this is the reason Fingers crossed it's all good when it comes to me. Show Z have been posting up a picture of now you can get the whole of the Mech Fans toy line for the Dinobots in one case slot together, I guess, which is pretty good because they've just been doing that with the Headmasters as well. And now you can get the Dinobots. Nice, nice. Moving over to Nano, so Win Mini Nano Transformers. Uh, I think these are really, really cool little things. You can see that they have just released their take on the Predacons. And you can see that it's so nicely, highly detailed, really nicely sculpted and painted. Very, very, very cool. They don't move. They don't pose. They're just very, very similar to the uh, things that we get with the uh, Unicrons and the minifigures that we get. But they're of a much better quality. Uh, but they just look so cool. Even this Optimus Prime here from the, the Bayverse movies looks pretty damn nice. And it looks like there's a... Yeah, looks like there's a, a dinosaur coming. Who could that be? Heading over to Future Toys X. And they've been showing off their SF Mattel Lycosa. 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 That'll do. Uh, which is an MP scaled TM Tarantulas. So this is Tarantulas. Looks pretty cool. Not sure I like the car type alt mode thing that looks a bit shit but everything else looks pretty damn nice i really do like the, the legs the fact that it looks like it can fire off this little harpoon weapon as well looks very cool this would have been the metal version i don't know if this is die cast or just kind of a metal coloration within the figure itself but it looks cool comes with a massive web as well and if we look back at the product shots that we got for it earlier uh, the kind of prototype shots 
sets with its little mini beasties that it comes with as well. You can see that they've stayed very, very close to the original prototype as well. They had very, very, very cool. And that web is, yeah, it's kind of nice, right? Kind of nice. Nako Make have been showing off their new take on Optimus Prime and showing how it relates back to the 2008 version, 18 version, sorry, that they did and showing the difference between the two. So we can see that the, the new version, look, hasn't got that long extended neck and also is a little bit more metallic looking as well. I don't own anything by this, but it's highly detailed, non-transforming, looks very nice. Fans Hobby then, they also showed their MB-18, which I think is going to be uh, just a load of mini bots basically so you've got the six the six a the six b the six c the six d the six e the six f the six g all of those kind of things so you shut off all the little parts on the spools this is pretty cool not for me but i think these are the bots that we've seen kind of hanging around with some of the larger bots that they've been releasing so when we looked at the um their take on the Transformers Armada Prime and even the tank. We saw loads of mini bots hanging off the side. I think this is just going to be those mini bots. Uh, cool. Cool. Nice. If you're into that kind of thing, nice. Photo credits here to I Am On Fire, who is helping Zeta really publicize their new release of the Seekers. So we can see here Red Spider. This is their take on Starscream, and it looks really nice both modes here look very nice the cockpit maybe it's a little bit mistransformed because there's a bit of a gap there but overall looks very very nice love the head sculpt the alt mode as i say does look really great nicely detailed very poseable looks like a cracking take on starscream is it as good as the new takara takes I don't know, it'd have to put each one by the side, but it's certainly a contender for why you would need to pick it up. You can see the chair inside there through that translucent cockpit as well. I think this just looks absolutely beautiful. And of course, because this is The Seekers, it's not just the take on Starscream that we're going to get here. We're also going to be getting Skywarp and Thundercracker. And looking at Thundercracker here, Thundermaker, should I say, he looks really nice. I like the fact they all continue to have those turbo tits where they've got the uh, the fans on their titties. That looks pretty good. Uh, and he's nice and blue and he looks like Thundercracker. You know, highly articulated. And of course, when we go to Skywarp or Sky Gull, as we look here as well, I think he looks beautiful. All blacks, purples, silvers. Very, very, very nice. I am on fire doing an incredible job really capturing the essence of these figures as well as he goes through gorgeous i'll probably pick these up at some point I hope they come with those stands they're my favorite types of stands to use as well so very very cool look at it in its jet mode look at it purple black decepticon oh gimme Heading over to Fans Toys then, and they have been showing off the FT-46 Jive, which is going to be their take on Jazz. Looks great. Obviously, this is just a digital CAD shot, but yeah, no, 48 Jazz looks very, very nice. 48 Jive, essentially. And then we also have their take on Mirage, and I guess this is going to be number 49. Phantasm. So this looks absolutely great. Obviously, these are just the kind of digi bashes of them right now, uh, but I'm super excited to see what comes next and looking to see the prototypes of these figures. Uh, I currently don't own any fans' toys, but yeah, heading over to Hasbro, tempted, then they've been showing off some weird MP stuff this week from the more kind of childish take Cyberverse on, takes. Um, There's going to be jazzies. a new take. I think yeah, this is the transform great. and roll out take on Optimus Prime, and yeah, it looks awful uh, and then there's also another new take on bumblebee as well and the alt mode looks great but the bot mode looks awful uh not for me these take and also staying within the cyberverse we now have slugtron or slagtron i'll go with slagtron for this one uh, and this is where you're going to be able to do a combiner between megatron and uh, Slag, or Slug as they call him now, and also do a combiner between Bumblebee and Swoop to create, oh my god, this. Oh, kill me, k kill me, I shouldn't be alive, k 
kill me. They look awful. These just look terrible. I don't know in what universe Megatron and Slug or Slag Slag would get together, but the artwork looks great. I know this is not for me and it's definitely not for my collection. These look horrific though. I mean, look at it. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. No. Not for me. Not for my collection. Don't know why, don't know how, but it ain't for me. Good news for those in the south of the states. Then Maximal T-Rex has been spotted at retail. So if you want to go and try and grab one of these, check out your local Target. Check out a few other places because it's been spotted at retail. I don't even remember this being released by Hasbro. Was it a Hasbro Fan Pulse? Maybe I've just forgotten that they had, did announce this one, but I don't even think Hasbro actually officially announced this one, right? So Tone Zone over on Instagram, tonezone.mp4, has put out a bit of a warning about your tracks. So all the parts that you see highlighted in red on Kingdom Tracks are molded clear plastic with blue paint over it now the reason that they've kind of put this warning out is because as we know the clear translucent plastic is more brittle than your normal one so that's quite a good warning to put out actually that hey be careful with this one because it's more brittle than your usual plastics that you used to with transformers so could break a lot easier oh dear and as we know, Hasbro are set to increase the prices on their figures very, very shortly. And in fact, over in the UK, this is already on display. And you can see this with the Studio 86 figures that have just been announced. So if you look at the pre-orders for these and you go back and check the prices. So Grimlock was $49.99 in some places, going up to about £50, £51. Now, Slug, Slag is $53.99. Commander class. Jazz 2099. The Shark Decon is 2199. Looking at the uh the kind of Voyager size was 3299 and Retgar 3499. So this is bad comedy. So are we gonna see price hikes on Transformers? Yep. Yep, we're gonna see them. They're already happening. Hasbro have already started this. But let's finish this on a happier note. And look at this bad boy. Look at this. Look at how cool this is. This is a digibash that somebody has done of Psykill. Turning him into Retgar. Wow. This is incredible. I can't give the proper props to whoever did this. Because this is just all over feeds. People have been sharing it wherever. But whoever did this. Genius genius thank you very much for dropping by and checking out my content today uh, as always if you like what i'm doing around here please think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe this channel has just gone past the 2.71 k mark so we did go past the 2700 subscriber mark over the weekend absolutely fantastic you guys are amazing i'll see you down in the comments all right guys in a bit peace